by going slower in this gear one fashion, you're gonna to start to realize where your wrists need to always be in this space, right? Around your kind of lower abdomen area. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle people. Today I have another fire skipping tutorial. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get more speed and accuracy and control with your crossovers. Now this is a really intermediate to advanced tutorial, so I'm expecting you guys to already know how to do a crossover. And for those of you who actually know how to go at a really fast speed, but lack the accuracy and sometimes trip up, this is gonna be a perfect video for you. So we're gonna get straight into this, guys. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, join our fitness family across the world. We are taking over cardio people, and we're backed up by the number one jump ropes on the planet and internet. Hit the links down below, use Rush10 for 10% discount. Today, I'm using the iconic Money Rope Performance Orange Edition, all right? So this one, guys, and I'm gonna get through this as quick as possible because I think a lot of people out there should especially if you watch this channel and have been for a lot of years now, will know how to do your crossovers, right? Now, if you're doing it, let's say with a run skip like this, what I've been finding and what I've been seeing with a lot of my clients recently is that they come to me and they say, listen, I can do 10, 15, 20, and sometimes I just keep tripping up and it's just not sticking. So it's an accuracy issue. The other thing is a control problem, all right? Now, I'm gonna give you a drill today to put in place to make sure that you guys can go through as many different types of speeds with these crossovers. Now, a lot of people out there, maybe you as well behind the camera, you only have one speed when you're doing this move. So what tends to happen is when you are in a pretty good flow, and let's say this is your speed, sometimes it comes off and then other times you just find yourself tripping. And then you just kind of get frustrated, figure out, or you can't figure out what's happening. And the reason is this, all right, it's the control and accuracy aspect of this move. Now, what I love to show my clients is a speed drill, what I like to call the kind of gear drill. And what I've been doing, especially when I've been practicing this move, is making sure that you have at least three to five speeds of doing your crossovers, especially with a run skip. So what you wanna try and do with this drill is you wanna try and have a first gear. So let's say this is gear one for me. If you're practicing this now, people, I want you to feel an exaggerated slow motion type of feel. And what this helps you do is it helps you understand and build muscle memory with your wrists and your arms. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to create perfect arcs and loops. What happens when you're going super fast, peeps, is that you're just kind of letting your body take over. And although that's sometimes a good thing, what tends to happen is you're not really thinking about what's really happening with your wrists. So when you now slow it down, exaggerate this movement, gear one, you should be now starting to feel your wrist turning over. You should be feeling your wrist passing or crossing at your elbows here, and then your wrists are now beside your body, all right? Once the wrists start crossing down here or too narrow, you're gonna always trip. And when you're getting super fast, what also then happens is that your arms are just flying all over the place and you're losing accuracy. So we're gonna go gear one, slow. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move up the gears and we're just gonna increase the speed. And by increasing the speed, I'm not saying you're gonna now move your hands faster. In actual fact, what happens, and this is the key tip for today, is your wrists will snap a little quicker. Okay, so we're now with gear one, it feels like a more slower form here. Now with gear two, the wrist snap is just gonna give it that extra speed. So you're gonna add a little wrist snap and in turn, your arms will kind of move a little bit quicker, but it's actually that snapping motion that gives you the speed. So now this is gear one, gear two, we add that little snap and then you should start to hear the rope have a little whip and then gear three, that wrist snap starts to be a little bit more profound or kind of quicker. So it's kind of happening like this. So it's boom, little wrist snap. And what happens and what can help is with a looser grip, and especially if you grip it down the handle, like I normally do, with a looser grip, you tend to have more flowy arms, okay? Then the crossover will tend to look a lot more slicker and smoother. You're not really jerking the action with really stiff forearms and firm kind of grip, if that kind of makes sense. So loosen up the grip have that wrist snap. Now we're gonna to move to gear four. So this is gear two, that's gear three, that's gear four. 
and that's gear five, all right? Now, naturally, what you're gonna find is you're gonna have to move your legs quicker, obviously, because now the rope's moving faster around your body, so you're gonna have to get your legs to sync up. But I'm already expecting you guys to understand how your feet should work in this move. This is all about getting control and accuracy and making sure you don't trip up as much as you do with your crosses. So if you guys can go up and down these gears, and let's say this is gear four, and then gear five, and then back to gear one. You see, the control of being able to do that is gonna show you guys that actually your wrists need to be in a certain space and not be moving up, down, away from your body. The wrists need to be within this space and it's gonna be different to certain people, right? Some people are, you know, got bigger biceps, bigger lats, they can, they can only cross a certain way or, you know, depending on your rope length, you may need to cross lower or higher. But this is not a rope length video, so what I'm trying to say is your wrist, by going slower in this gear one fashion, you're gonna to start to realize where your wrists need to always be in this space, right? Around your kind of lower abdomen area. What also helps with kind of speed as well, guys, is a little tilt of the body. And I mentioned this in so many of my crossover videos, but what I want you to try and remember is this tilt is to allow you guys to cross wider. You shouldn't really be excessively tilting as you get better at this, but it does help to give you some speed. And you see guys like Mayweather or, you know, boxers from back in the day, they would have a, a little tilt just to get more, more of a cross action. It just allows the arms to kind of move more around the body. If you're kind of straight up like this, you'll see that it's really a little bit stiff looking. And it also just makes your hands just fly around the place a little bit too much. So to be honest, this is gonna be, it's gonna be a quick one, but this is really for the intermediates and advanced. Try this gear method. Give yourself maybe three gears or five gears. I like to kind of go up and down this kind of ladder of speed. That will help you guys get more control. And believe me, trust me, your crossovers will be a lot more fire, a lot more accurate. And that is what this is all about, right? We're looking for accuracy, not always speed, all right? If you guys can slow it down, you can always speed it up and you always can control the speed at higher levels. So quick one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for supporting this channel, supporting this brand and supporting our merch. Remember, hit the links, we've got you covered. Use Rush 10 for that discount. Today, using a speed rope, but this move or this kind of form or action and drill can be used along across all lines of our rope. So people, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the night in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the end of the days now.